Jordan yeah. Montgomery is the first, hopefully in a group. The first is right. I shouldn't say hopefully. I don't. This is the thing. Jordan Montgomery fired Scott Boris as his agent, and we. I say hopefully he's the first of a group. But Scott Boris is not good for baseball. No, he's not. Not at all. And he's reached a point where he's not even good for his clients. Right. For his players. Because Jordan Montgomery got into camp, got into camp late. Blake Snell has not been good early because he didn't get spring training at all. But you can't figure out why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Jordan yeah. Montgomery fired Scott Boris, replaced him with Wasserman's Joel, Joel Wolf and Nick Chanick. This comes in the wake of what was a complete meltdown and mishandling of Montgomery's offseason and free agency. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if we see other guys far away with him because. Like, if I was Blake Snell, I'd be out. Yeah. Absolutely out. And yeah. who else was who else was part of the big Boris for this offseason? I can't think off the top of my head. Matt I know J.D. Martinez. Matt Chapman. I'd be upset if I was Matt Chapman, too. I'd probably be walking away. And yeah, Garrett sure. Cole's fine. He's He's got his long-term deal. Cal Nothing's Raleigh, wrong. the Mariners catcher, is a Boris client. I would be yeah. talking to Montgomery and be like, dude, what do I need to be on the lookout for? going yeah. forward because it's it, I don't know that we've ever had at least not that I can remember that we've had a catcher as a Boris client yet right I can't think of anybody not off the top of my head I can look yeah. really quick but who's who's gone into free agency Cal Raleigh has a couple more years before free agency but he could be going like yeah Cal you're a switch hitting catcher absolutely you should be getting X amount for X years right X amount for Y years whatever but at the same time, teams are like, okay, those strikeout rates are really high, and you're way better on the left side than you are on the right side. So we don't want to give you X amount for Y years. We'll give you less. And then Boris gets in his ear and says, no, you don't want that. You can get And then we have the same situation, right? That he doesn't able, He's not able to get into camp. He's not able to get in and work with his pitchers during spring training. And so I'm curious – if this is something we might see with younger guys going forward, because mm-hmm. Juan Soto is going to be a free agent after the season, correct? Because he didn't sign an extension with the Yankees. No, he hasn't. So I, I doubt, I doubt that he will, uh, that he'll fire him. But at the same time, though. You've got to wonder because if he wants to be a Yankee and Boris is in his ear trying to convince him to go somewhere else. No, dude wants to be a Yankee. Then uh he dude that dude is having so much fun. Well, he's good at baseball again. Of course he's having he, so much fun. <laughs> he's good at baseball. The team is clicking. It's all good. He's very, very happy. And by the way, I'm looking up Scott Boris's previous catchers. So far, I see Jason Veritek and Pudge. Okay. Just two off the top of the search engine. Okay. So but yes. I don't I don't remember them having a big like big free agency thing like what Boris makes a spectacle of it right now. I don't think they're the same. Because I don't think Veritek had that kind of situation. And maybe that's why Cal Raleigh will stick with Boris, is because Veritek is his hero. And so that's interesting. He could be like, yeah, I want this guy to be my agent because he was my hero's agent. And maybe Veritech will tell him, like, no, it's worth it. So that's cool. I did not know that about Cal Raleigh. Yeah, it it that's part of the reason he's he'll never switch, he'll never stick to the left side of the plate. Mm. He wants to be he'll he always wants to be a wanted to be a switch hitting catcher like Veritech. I'm gonna tell you something. Like, as a Yankees fan, I got to watch a lot of Jason Veritech, and I just love that guy. <laughs> I thought he was just such a great baseball player, such a great personality. Uh, it was it was fun to be upset that he was at the plate. You know, it was just <laughs> fun to be, you know, to be bothered by him. And I just I haven't thought about Jason Veritek in a while. And yeah, I, I have fond memories hating him at some points. You know, but right, fond, yeah, right, you know, respectfully. So I. I cheered for the the Red Sox in like the early two thousands, especially in two thousand four, because. I call like I called it among my family and friends. I said beginning of the season, I said this is the year Red Sox win. Yeah, and so I was cheering hard for him that year. 
and then um and so i got to be a really big jason Veritek fan and my fandom and so i was cheering for the red sox there for a while and my yeah. fandom for the red sox left with jason Veritek. yeah that makes sense so that makes sense so it, it's gonna be, but anyway back to the whole boris thing it's gonna be interesting to see what happens with boris over the next couple of years see how guys treat him because he has not treated his guys very well 